Good morning, and welcome to the Heidelberg Engineering Academy. Thank you for joining our course, The Scan Planning Tool, presented by Katherine Toyama. My name is Jocelyn Gageway, and I'll be moderating today's program. Before we begin, I'd like to point out that your lines have been muted to prevent any feedback. As this is an interactive forum, however, please feel free to ask any questions using the chat features of the program. Now, without any further ado, I am pleased to present Katherine Toyama. Hi, my name is Katherine Toyama, and today's webinar is on the SCAN planning tool. Today we'll cover a brief overview of the SCAN planning tool, how to plan a SCAN, how to acquire a SCAN, and answer any questions you may have after the presentation. What is the SCAN planning tool? It is an optional software module. It is designed to improve workflow and patient data management by allowing Spectralis OCT and HRI users to plan diagnostic scans at any time. It improves patient documentation by defining a comprehensive OCT scan work list and reduces the need for hand drawings to plan OCT scans when reviewing Spectralis fundus images. It allows users to plan OCT scans offline on the basis of SLO images acquired with any Spectralis unit. Let's review how to plan a scan by watching a short video and then we'll go over it in more detail. On your fundus image, right mouse click and select Scan Planning Tool. You'll see the template has all of the same scan settings that you'll find in the acquisition window. You can select the type of scan, you can angle the scan, you can move the scan, you can select what type of fundus image you would like, save and exit, and you'll see your scan in the image window with the yellow color-coded scan pattern. So let's review planning a scan. You want to right mouse click on a fundus image and select the scan planning tool to open the program. Once you're in the scan planning tool program, you'll see that the settings are the same as in the acquisition window and you can build any kind of scan over the fundus image. But remember that the program uses the fundus image as a map for a future scan. So in this image, if you wanted to build a scan over the optic nerve, you would have to select an image where the optic nerve was more centered. The scan planning tool is flexible. It allows you to mix and match scan settings that may be different from the original fundus image. For instance, you can select a fluorescein angiogram image, build a scan over it, and select that on the next examination it should be shot as an infrared image. Click to save and all the parameters will be saved as a template to the patient's file. The scans created with the software will be displayed with a color-coded yellow scan pattern instead of green and will automatically be marked with a reference scan and placed in the follow-up menu for a future acquisition. The main function of the scan planning tool is to plan a future OCT scan on a selected fundus image in the exact location and with the exact scan parameters defined by you in advance. Once you've planned a scan, you'll want to acquire a scan. Let's watch this brief video and then we'll cover it in more detail afterwards. Select your patient file, same as usual. We'll wait for the system to calibrate. We'll align the patient 
and get even illumination and position the OCT. We'll open the follow-up button and select the scan. It will lock on with the green box in the fundus image and we're going to acquire same as usual. We're going to save and exit and open our scan to review it. I'm going to review in the comparison window and if I go up to combine with the previous scan we can see our scan plan down below with no OCT and our current scan with the OCT. Okay, let's review acquiring a planned OCT scan. Plan scans are acquired in the same manner as all follow-up examinations in the Spectralis system. Scans will show up in the follow-up menu, color-coded yellow, so you know the difference. And of course, multiple scans can be acquired in a single setting. After acquisition is completed, the follow-up will be marked with a red reference icon, indicating that it is the new reference. This progression will be closed, indicated by the small lock icon. If you wish to continue the follow-up series, you can right mouse click and select Open. All scans are saved with original plan scans shown with the yellow baseline icon and completed scans with the green scan pattern and red reference icon. So in conclusion, the scan planning tool allows users to plan OCT examinations in a targeted way using Spectralis Fundus images and ensures that the OCT scan is taken at the exact predefined position on the retina during the follow-up examination to deliver precise and reliable diagnostic information. And that concludes the Scan Planning Tool webinar. Thank you, Trina, for that excellent presentation. This course has been recorded and will be available on HeidelbergEngineering.com for your convenience. On behalf of all of us here at Heidelberg Engineering, I'm Jocelyn Gageway. I hope you have a pleasant remainder of the day, and I'd like to thank you for joining us for this presentation of the Heidelberg Engineering Academy.